Hi, this is Vicky Condi Systems Technical Support, and today I'm going to show you how to use the Blend tool from within Corel Draw. This is version X4, but the Blend tool should work very similar to the same with other versions of Corel, including X5. So, to get started, I have a new document, and I'm going to um, just a easy way to use the Blend tool is to grab one of your cut tools over here just to demonstrate. Um, do something quite simple and um, so you have different shapes here that you can use. I'm going to use, um, let's just start with, let's just start with the uh, an eclipse. And uh, to draw a perfect circle, again I have a video on on uh, several Corel Draw uh, tools and in one of the videos I show you how to draw a perfect circle so hold your, con your control key down, press your left mouse key and drag um, to get a, a perfect circle. Uh, as you can see this is uh, equal both length and width. So um, having one circle here, let's just put some color in it and we'll choose, uh, let's just say black. I'm sorry black, this is a good solid black. And now let's draw, um, just to keep it interesting or to make it interesting, uh, let's draw a circle. So hold my control key. I'm gonna draw a really small, I'm sorry, a square. I'm gonna draw a square here. So uh, the blend tool. What's interesting about it is that uh, it will blend uh, the circle and the square, a gradual blending effect. So to make it uh, even more interesting, we'll add a different color in it. Let's use this dark blue here. And so now that I have. Uh, two objects on my page, one a circle and one a small square. I'm going to come over here to my toolbar, my interactive blend tool, and I'm going to click that. Okay, And so now I have um, this little arrow with this these little uh, blocks here. So I'm going to left click and um, draw a line, hold it down, and draw a line from the square to the circle or the circle to the square. And as you can see, I have created a blending effect um, from the circle to the square where it's converting gradually into a small square. So um, in with the blend tool selected, my menu up here are my presets uh, and my menus change. So once you select a tool over here, up here at the top, your menus will always change based on the tool you select. So if I want to make some changes to this blend tool, I can very easily um, come up here and type something like 15. And what that does is it gives me 15 objects versus 20. Uh, 10. I have 10 objects that gradually change. I'll go back to 20. And um, if I want to uh, change the uh, size here, X and Y, I can change that. Um, and what that does is move it on the page. Also, and get closer again, I can slide this bar and that gives it a different effect also. So isn't that neat? That's pretty cool. Um, so I can do different things with this blend tool. I can also curve, put a curve in it or create a line where I can um, um, put my objects on a line and it follow the path. So these are different things you can do with the blend tool. But uh, to take the stroke out of it, I can come over here and right click on the top of my color palette here where it's the, the white X and that will remove the stroke around the, um, the objects so you don't have the, uh, the stroke showing there. So and you can right click and change the color of the stroke as well but I'm going to get rid of the stroke so it's a neat little feature, the blend tool for you graphic designers out there as you can see the layers here you can play around with the blend tool and uh, use your tools up here to find different ways to um, change the color all kinds of things you can do playing around with these tools. You can change the actual color of the blend you can do all kinds of neat things using this blend tool and as you can see, if you unlock this, you can accelerate your object and your color.
Isn't that neat? So again, this is Vicki with Condi Systems demonstrating how to use the blend tool in Corel Draw versions uh, with X4, this one, and it would work with other versions of Corel Draw, including X5. As always, thank you for your time. If you have any questions, feel free to give me a call. Um, my number is 1-800-826-6332. My name is Vicki. Thank you.